very, very, very entertaining game yesterday. Very entertaining. Yeah, it was. You know good. what? Yeah, yes, it was. I liked it. I liked it. Uh, so yeah, let's just jump right into it real quick. What uh, what do you do you like and dislike about that game? Give me some insight, your perspective on that game. I I liked the competitiveness. I liked. I feel like we showed that like that doll type, like you know, competitive style. So I like the aggressiveness of it. I love that, you know, LeBron had a double-double. AD had almost a double-double, two rebounds away. Um, I like the hustle. You know what I really, really like? The defense in the first half. That was, like, amazing to me. And the, not that the defense in the second half wasn't as good. It just – the Clippers kind of elevated the level of play a little bit. Um, so as we, like, closed that gap – and we were down by, like, I think 20 at one point. We closed it, kept it competitive. But it's like we were giving up in the second half. We were giving up just a little, you know, too many layups, easy layups, back doors and things like that. But, no, I like the defense. I think the defense is the thing that stands out to me the most. And I like that – I like our assist. We actually – I think we had them beat in assist by, like, almost 10, I believe. Um, so, yeah, I like the sharing of the ball. It was definitely team basketball last night. It wasn't too many iso balls. Even if LeBron – he wasn't the ball wasn't really sticking with him as much as we've seen it. So that was, like, healthy. I love that. Um, but, yeah, just a team play overall. Russ throwing some lobs to AD. Or he threw one lob, sorry. He threw one lob to AD. Um, just, I, I love I love that whole, like, cutting, you know, everybody find those, like, little tiny, like, those little tiny, like, snippet passes, you know, when you just, like, cut it right down the lane. Um, and some of the bench players really, really had, like, confidence in their shot. And I was like, okay. Like, you know, look at Reeves yeah. dribbling down the whole court, doing a little crossover, and then knocking down a jumper. I love that. And Walker, we got to talk about Walker. We have to talk about Walker. Like Walker goodness. looked nice. Walker looked very nice. But yeah, no, those those that's those are some of my my um, my positives. What about you? <laughs> yeah. So I mean, overall, I really like uh, what we got out of yesterday's game. It's like we've talked about before. You know, there there's good losses and there's bad losses. This was a good yeah. loss. You know, yes, I was. thought our defense was great. I thought uh, I th- we took care of the ball. We didn't have you know a bunch of turnovers like we did. In the previous game, um, we got, you know, uh, again, solid defense. Russ defensively was getting at it. That was a good sign. <laughs> yeah. uh, yes, he was. He's got to find ways to score, though. <laughs> yeah. You know, like 0 of 11, that's unacceptable. But at least he was contributing in other aspects, right? Um, yeah. You know, like old Russ, if he was 0 for 11, he was unplayable. You literally could not play him because he didn't do anything else other than score. But now you got a you got a Russell Westbrook that's playing some solid defense. Like I really like that. Um, beyond that, you know, like you mentioned, we were sharing the ball. That was really good. Uh, you know, yeah. we were allowing uh, you know ball movement, which is key. Um, just overall, I thought it was a very solid game. Like we never really got out of the game. We we were in a position where we we could have won and we should have won that game. Um, yeah. And that's all you can ask. You know, we we started the the season off against arguably the two best teams in the league. And in both of those games, you could look at those games and go, you know what? We could have won those games. Like that's yeah. good. You know, like the, the Clippers problem, more than golden state, but nevertheless. Yeah. Th- I mean, this one more than goals, but I mean, look, if we even just shot half decent against both of these teams, we win, you know, yeah. like uh, even, even golden state, like if we just, if we just shot, we didn't even have to shoot lights out. If we just shot half decent against Golden yeah. State, we probably win that game. That game might have been over at halftime. Like, yeah. uh, but we uh, we just didn't capitalize. And again, uh, yesterday we just didn't capitalize. But there was a lot of really good things that we can build on. Chemistry is going to have to be learned, have to be taught. I really think we're going to have a top five to seven defense. I really do. I think we're going to have a really okay. good defense. I mean, we already have a really good defense. Um, and so you think I, we got tired in the second half? You think we got like a little like no because lazy, I, mean, the, but... the, 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 I think a lot of it had I think AD going down hurt right because like, yeah we were we were competitive until AD got hurt and I know, then but once back, AD, I, I hate to see it that fall yeah Ugh. Ugh. yeah and then once AD yeah. got hurt it kind of just like sucked the air out of the room you know and yeah. and not just that but then AD wasn't as like aggressive as he was earlier you know yeah. um, so. The thing is, though, is we need other guys to step up. Like, that's been our problem. The first two games, it's been a three-man show. First game, it was Russ, LeBron, and AD. And then this game, it was Walker, LeBron, and AD. Like, we're not going to win on just three guys a night giving you 100 points. Like, it's just not going to happen. 
We need yeah. guys to to be able to to you know contribute and not like anything crazy. I do think when we get Dennis Schroeder back, uh, Troy Brown and uh, uh, Thomas Bryant, I do think that they'll help with our depth. Uh, one, it'll give us a little more size. Two, Dennis Schroeder is a guy that can give you a ten plus a game, right? Yeah. So I think you have him. I think Kendrick Nunn is gonna. He had a bad game uh, yesterday, but I don't. I don't think that that's the norm. I think he'll be better. Um, so let's say you know you get ten to fifteen from uh, Schroeder, ten to fifteen from Nunn, um, okay. ten to fifteen from Walker. I don't think Russ is going to go zero for eleven again. I mean, even last year, as bad of a year as he had, was you know he was he was averaging eighteen a game. So let's say he can keep that. Let's say he can give us eighteen a game. So right there, just between those four guys, you're talking you know at worst probably fifty points, and then. Um, on top of that 50 points, you got LeBron and AD probably yeah. chiming in another 50 points. So there's yeah, that's, that's what the really good teams do. You have to spread out the scoring load. Because exactly. even if you look at like the Clippers last night, I mean, their big stars didn't have 30 points, not necessarily. Everybody just kind of like spread out the even scoring load. I mean, I don't think actually, matter of fact, I don't think nobody had above 20 points. I could be wrong, but I, not from what I remember now. Um, yeah, no, I just it's kind of it's kind of weird to me. Um, even Toscano, like it's kind of weird. He was kind of more productive than I've ever seen him on yeah. a, on the Lakers squad. So it was it was it was interesting. But yeah, defensive defensively, everyone was getting after it, and that's what you want to see. You want to see quality, consistent defense. Um, you know, again, if we if we if we can just put it all together, we have all the pieces to the puzzle. We just got to put the puzzle together. Right. And and same thing with Russ. Like Russ has all the pieces to the puzzle. He's just got to put it together. Like if he can play the defense that he played yesterday and give us that scoring output, even if he's not giving us 20 a game, even if, as long as he can just give us 15 a game and keep that score, that defensive prowess that he had yesterday. Like, I think we have a really scary team. And if everyone can put it together, I don't think we're going to shoot 20% from three the entire season. I just don't. I mean, LeBron, we know he's a solid shooter. Puts the work, yeah. he puts in the time. He's going to average out eventually. A lot of these guys are going to average out eventually, right? So once everyone averages out and we play the way we played in the first two games, I think we, I think we're going to win a lot of games. We just, uh, we just have to average out first. Guys got to start hitting shots. Um, you know, I we're not going to be an elite three point shooting team. We're not going to be this like, you know. Well, I don't think we, I don't think we need need to be honestly. Like, I don't think we need like, to be. I think we need to like do the basics, like just out rebound the other team like like the clippers i think they rebound. yeah 19 they or 20 yeah, yeah 19 or 20 us. um not offensive though uh defensive which is which kind of is weird because we're playing so intense defense so it's like do we need help does like do we need help rebounding like i you know what i mean it's kind of it's hard because yeah. like if you get out I mean, defensive rebound rebound better and that'll come with chemistry because the problem is, is that like like you see teams like golden state golden state has always been small but they just team rebound really well. Like yeah. everyone goes out to the board. Everyone yeah. boxes out. Like you see it all the time. Like Steph will box out, you know, Gober and like try to fight for the rebound. Like a lot of times we just weren't boxing out. Like we were too worried about like everything else that was going on and didn't box out. And then, you know, somebody would come in and get the board. Um, I like rebounding, three point shooting is probably the, the biggest thing, biggest holes we have right now. Um, yeah. I do think Thomas Bryant will help. You know, he's a guy that can grab boards, high energy, aggressive. So when he comes back, I think he'll be good. Uh, shooting, again, I don't think we're going to be an elite shooting. But I mean, the bubble year that we won the championship, we were 34%. You know, and we we, we won on defense. 34% from the three or from, from just... the three? Yeah, from okay. the three. We're 34%. I think mid range is where our game is yeah. going well, to be. Sure. Well, to be fair, we were like 34.8% or something like that. So we'll call it 35%. In the bubble, we were thirty, just under thirty-five percent, right? So, if we can get to like thirty-three to thirty-four percent this year, I think we'll, I think we're going to be a pretty good team. Um, you know, I just, I don't like shooting forty-five threes a game. I don't understand that. That makes well, no and, sense to me. And you know what's funny? We made the exact amount of threes as the Clippers did. Like that to me is funny. But I believe we shot more actually. Yeah, we shot we shot a lot more. And, and like yeah. that just we can't do that. Like we're not gonna win games unless guys are shooting just just shooting great. We're not gonna win games shooting 40% from three because we're a team that can't shoot. 
you know, and, and look, don't get me wrong. Offense will get a lot easier. If guys start knocking down threes, I don't think that we'll, I don't think we'll have as much of a trouble um, getting inside the, or scoring and just shooting period. And I don't think we'll have to shoot 43s a game because if guys just start knocking down even respectfully uh, from the three point line, what that does that op- that'll open up the paint more because now guys got t- players got to get out and yeah. put a hand up. Where right they're now not just going to leave them open. Yeah, yeah. Right now they don't have to. Right now they're just like, hey, jack it up, go ahead. You know, do what you want to do. You know, like the Clippers were nine of twenty nine from three. Yeah. So they were thirty one percent. Yeah. And we were nine for forty five. So we shot the same amount, but we took almost double the amount of threes. Like yeah. it's just again, it's just not gonna it's not gonna get the job done. We're not winning basketball games shooting 40 percent or shooting uh 43s and only shooting 20 percent just no just absolutely and i think even with like okay like even if like reeves and some of like the bench players um walker like some of the players that aren't known for shooting they're gonna get left open like the bit like the biggest thing is like oh yeah like we have a lot of great looks last night a lot we yeah. have a lot of great looks but the thing is like here's the thing if you don't knock them down like they're not gonna run out at you like you know yeah. what i mean like is that's why I think the historically great shooters, if you're a shooter, people are going to run at you. You know what I mean? So, like, I just – I would agree. And I do got a question for you. I yeah. Do you think – because 